And for my first story, I'd like to know uh, how many of you are runners? Raise your hand. Okay, uh, all of you who are not runners, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. And then you can come back. Actually, you can stay. So there's a race I do every year. It just happened two weeks ago. It's called Ultimas Noticias, and it's uh, through the center of Quito. I love this race because there's 18,000 people who run through our city. And when you run in such a large group, you come across a lot of people who are really going up against the odds in order to complete the race. And it makes you feel really inspired and motivated to be able to do what you do. And one of the other things I love about it is that it goes through the historic center of Quito. If you've ever been to Ecuador, you know that Ecuador has this lovely, long, sprawling uh, colonial center. It's very well maintained. It's very inspiring. It's a very vibrant community. It's not just a tourist center, but you kind of feel like you're going back in time when you go there. Uh, and one of the challenges of running there is that many of the streets are cobblestone, so they can get a bit slippery. You have to be a bit careful when you're running. Uh, and there was this one particular race where I saw ahead of me there was this older gentleman and he was running on homemade crutches. They were wooden crutches and he was just, as you say out west, giving her. And uh, I think that joke works for people 35 and older. Uh, and he's, he's just, he's just giving her and, uh, and I was looking at him and just as I was looking at him, uh, hit, one of his crutches got stuck between two stones and he fell down. And there's hundreds of people on both sides of the street watching this race, and there's this huge collective gasp, and a bunch of runners stop, a police officer comes out, and he waves them all off, and then he gets back on his crutches, and he just keeps going like nothing had ever happened, and there's this massive applause, and I'm running, I'm in tears watching this dude, and I think, well, what does this story have to do with us, and what does this story have to do with marketing? And I run this race every year, and I could never tell you the names of the people who win this race. I have no idea who they are. But I always remember the guy with the wooden crutches. And I remember the guy with the wooden crutches because he was extraordinary. And before we can even begin to talk about marketing, we have to make sure that we are story worthy, that we actually have a story that is worth telling and that is worth repeating. And to be story worthy, we have to be extraordinary. And the thing about being extraordinary is that it is a choice. Being ordinary is a choice, and being extraordinary is a, ch is a choice as well. Through all my time at Google and Twitter, working with large brands, the thing I realized is that most brands don't do great marketing because they don't want to do great marketing, because they don't have the courage to do great marketing. So if we want to do great marketing, we have to ask ourselves, are we going to be an ordinary or an extraordinary brand? Because that is what's going to make the rest of our marketing journey either difficult or hard. And are we going to have the courage? Because as the song says, if it doesn't come, it doesn't matter. So let's talk about B2B marketing. Mm -hmm.